name is uh, Miller Feliciano. I'm a user experience designer at FCA. In today's world of hyperconnectivity and real-time data, there's a lot more that's expected from our devices, and the vehicle's no different. Our devices play a huge role in our lives, connecting us to everything else, and everyone knows that. Cars do the same. There's loads of technology out there, tons of it is in, in, in cars already, and there's plenty in this concept as well. The real trick is finding ways to use the technologies to make life better for everyone in and out of the car. The same interior design philosophy that Cindy spoke about earlier, that applies to the user experience as well. We focus on designing experiences that add value. That means we cherry pick the technologies that enable the seamless integration into the car and into our complex everyday lives. For products that are such a big part of our lives, that seamless integration is key. And that's what this concept's all about. We like to imagine our concept as next generation vehicle that serves as a hub for your life. Everyone's trying to get somewhere, physically, socially, and the perfect user experience should help you get there. It should help you sync up, recharge, connect, if we do it right, drive somewhere. But the secret to an awesome user experience starts with a lot of research. So we traveled all around the world and listened to millennials who told us how they use their technology both in and out of their cars. And when we imagine designing these products to seamlessly integrate into our lives, it gives us context for what the vehicle needs to be. For example, we learned that while millennials like buying things, devices, as much as anyone else, experiences are much more meaningful. And that's why we obsessively try to capture and share these experiences. And millennials are cost conscious as well. But if we see value, we're willing to pay for it. So products that are flexible, upgradable, and that elevate the experience keep their investment relevant. Millennials also value their time. So they particularly appreciate products that are easy to use, personalize, and feel like a normal part of their lives. That seamlessness is what we wanted to bring to this new concept in mobility solutions. For example, if you go hang out with a friend, you don't need a key to let yourself in. They see you, they hear your voice, they greet you, and invite you in. Same deal here. The car sees you approaching, recognizes your face, your voice, welcomes you, and opens the door. We're leveraging biometrics here, so no key fob, no RFID chip. The car knows you. So once you're in the seat, it automatically adjusts all your settings, finds a comfortable temperature, starts playing your favorite music, and offers to connect you with the other passengers to share other media. It configures all the driving information just the way you like, because it's based on your personal cloud-based profile. And it does the same for your significant other, your rideshare partner. There's a profile for everyone in the vehicle. The primary interface is the high mount display that Cindy showed earlier. Images are, and data are mapped across the screens to prioritize critical data in front of the driver, environmental information in the middle, and passenger content over to the right. Millennials are used to really good visuals in a lot of the media they consume and the devices they use every day. So we leverage real-time 3D graphics and animations that help the driver quickly grasp essential information. These 3D graphics are especially effective in creating very descriptive visuals to represent surrounding traffic, highway ramps, visuals, all in real time. And that's critical for autonomous driving. The use of 3D graphics also helped us design a sense of spatial awareness so that the car more effectively communicates what's going on around you in ways that you can quickly understand. The UI is also contextually intelligent, feeding you the right information right when you need it. For example, in an emergency, everything can shift red if the car senses danger, such as a car stalled ahead. Audio plays a big role too. Um, like when an ambulance is approaching, we can amplify the siren just for the driver. We can even position the audio to indicate the direction that it might be coming from. Of course, drivers can preset all their information so the, the information is arranged exactly how they like or kept at a minimum until requested. Content can be summoned using steer wheel controls, touch controls, or simply by asking for it using voice recognition. We've designed the cabin with all passengers in mind, and sharing is a big thing with my generation. 
So this car enables passengers to engage in social media, to share their music, their games, with each other from their personal devices. A large community display is also mounted overhead. It's accessible to passengers in the second and third rows. And this really helps communicate important information to everyone in the vehicle, which is great for things like e-commerce, for example, when in and out burger is not too far away and everyone's really picky about their order. Everyone can just use their phones. In fact, that's something we're particularly proud of, this vehicle's BYOD, bring your own device. So we offer up to eight docking stations located on the instrument panel and on each seat that could be used for charging and securing devices. And as Cindy said, vehicle design for millennials should grow with them. It needs to perform well in all contexts of their various stages in, in life. And by being device agnostic, we make this possible. You don't want a car manufacturer telling you what devices to use. You need a car that integrates everything you already have. The cabin is equipped for plug and play. The seamless integration of cameras, wearables, and plenty of other accessories that can come later down the line. For example, this means that new parents can start out by plugging in a baby monitor uh, in the back and then accessing video up front. That same feed works with a baby Einstein tablet that keeps the toddler happy. That's all I'm told. And the system lets the kid graduate to an Xbox or PlayStation in short order without needing to buy anything. Taking a road trip with friends, the car is also equipped with multiple cameras that not only help you safe park and drive, but let you create your own park with karaoke videos while you ride with your friends. And the side view mirrors have also evolved into modular 360 degree cameras that feed video to the occupants as well. We've even designed PZA, Personal Zone Audio, to keep everyone happy and headphone free in their own sound levels. So the little one in the back can watch the Muppets <coughs> while mom and dad rock out to Nickelback, and you, the driver, can tune it all out. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>